Alright, what is up guys? Of course, always welcome back to another OU battle versus Mo Mimon 800 from the Discord group. And um, yeah, I mean, he really took my definition of saying I did not go super serious to a good extent. I like this team quite a lot. And I also realized that in theory, I'm in a very bad position. Um, Swamp is actually quite annoying for me. While Hurricane could do good damage versus all of this, I, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Um, <laughs> there are really a lot of good mods too. Um, I want to set up Stealth Rocks. I see the issues with Garbodor, so I think it's fair to lead up with Forkbid. And if he somehow leads up with. Um, if he somehow leads up with um, Swamp Bird, um, he could always flip turn in contrasting to set up stealth rocks, but overall Politoed is actually quite right for me. Not Politoed, Palaswine. So, but I think Swamper is a good lead overall. Braviary, yes, nice. So if I were him, hard switch to Swampert or what? He doesn't have a natural default, which is great. So I'm definitely set up stealth rocks, even in close combats. I think he was predicting me to lead up with um Damn, he went straight on at it. Wow, yeah, that did exactly what I needed to do. Did not like that. Right? If he can stealth rocks, or if he can set up defog, then he's gonna do it. He is at minus one, however, so he can definitely get some damage in here. Oh yeah, good. So kill me, kill me. Damn shame, but I hope it was worth it. Now he is at minus two, so he needs to... I, I think he could be scarfed, thinking about it. That's always an option. Actually, that is probably his only option why he kept attacking. So... It's quite speedy. It's quite NASCAR, as one say. Could I risk it? I really shouldn't. So, sending in Sulfur. Basically, I force it out. And if he's close, or locked to close combat, I get the most out of it anyway. And it's more likely he switches into his uh, Swampert versus this. Yeah, he was scoffed. Doesn't do anything, which is good. It's all about connecting this hurricane. Which also means he has no intentions of... Uh, fuck it. Alright, alright. Yeah, I need to connect this. This is not pretty, but... Uh, I would have been far better, worse off if I thunderbolted. If I missed twice... There you go, nice. <laughs> alright, alright. Swampert is a good switch in. Can set up rocks, can flip turn. Yeah, there you go. The only positive trait about this matchup specifically is um, that hopefully is only setting up rocks. Good trait from my side is uh, I can always spin away the rocks. So it's not an impossible matchup, it's just one of those matchups I force out and invite most likely Charizard to. Which is, in its own right, not that very good. Aqua Tail. Good. Good, good, good. Wait, is that banded? That's very offensive, isn't it? Anyway, without him, I'm not staying in here. I'm staying in Charizard for sure. So I am doing this switch, hopefully that he is, I was going to say smaller, but I don't mean that. If he stays in, he's just a death wish away. Charizard, Charizard, Gar that's not Charizard. God damn it, man. Actually, that makes sense too, I guess. Um... Yeah, Weatherball. 
Gong Shot should do a lot. Toxic Spike should be annoying. But overall, I think Weather Ball is the overall better option. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it absolutely was. Damn. Damn. Politoed. Wow. Wow. All right. That's cool. Umbreon? Umbreon. Absolutely Umbreon. That's, um... That's the player's book 101, for sure. Um... Yeah, I'm sitting in diseases, aren't I? <laughs> oh, this is... This is a game. Toxic, I think, or foul play. John. Yeah, that's not annoying. Leftovers. You know, some things you want to see, some things you don't want to see. This is in the category of no. Thank you. How many more turns of rain do I have? Two. Yeah, I'm doing this play. I hope it goes for a foul play. So I can just get a Spex Hurricane out of the way. John is not nice. Not at all. Wish. Okay. So, John, Wish. Most likely Protect. I'm hurricaning here anyway. We just want to see whether or not he has Protect. He switches out, I think that's fair. Going to Swampert makes sense. And I think a Hurricane will still do a lot of damage, even though he will recover most of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's roughly half. So it's good damage. It's just not um, a damage I win. So here I am, ba ba bum. Rock you like a hurricane, sending in Lambda Sun. Like, basically, I want the hits I can, if possible. Ice, but yeah, he predicted me there. Still, though, it didn't do all that much. And Charizard is quite free. I'm getting ready anyway because I'm feeling a bit scared. <laughs> Umbreon, alright. I have Pollen Puff. I don't know what it can or would do versus it. Get ready, however, will do very little. Very little. So I don't expect Pollen Puff to do all that much more. Um. Damn, this is a matchup. This is a matchup. Alright, sending in Shinbu. We have seen John, we've seen Wish. Should have foul play and possibly toxic. Wish. There you go. Because basically, the only like, maneuverability I have versus an Umbreon is that I can disrupt it, I can knock off it. And if you can get damage on it, it's it's plenty, but knock off is more than well for this. Yeah, get a lift or out of the way, it's going to be plenty for me. Oh, it actually did a lot. I can do that. Join. Nothing to it. Now it's fully recovered. I don't want to risk the sleep. All too much. I'm gonna send sulfur, and I think I'm gonna U-turn. I just really want to see foul play. I want to see his offensive moves. Toxic. There you go. Nice. And it's not the end of the world because I can aromatherapy with my um, um with my elder gas. The issue is, I don't do anything versus this matchup. So if he has Protect, then it becomes rather nasty.
And it's whether or not he has that. Did it alright. Alright. Hmm. I think he joins here. Or wishes. Foul play. So we had foul play. Good. They did plenty. Got a stone edge here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Come on, buddy. Show me swamp boots. Does switch out. I think that's fair. To Golurk. That's a good switch in, though. That's a good switch in. Wow, we still did good damage, though. <laughs> All right. You know what? I dig it. So, Poultry Guys is a fair play. Earthquake is kind of nasty. Yeah, singing Basila Bufu. Basically, if he goes for a Poultry Guys, it's gonna do a whole lot. If it's a Bandit version, which it could be, I think it kills. Actually. Um, but I don't gain too much with Rain in mind. Shadow Punch. That's alright. Oh, it's Life Orb. Weather Bowling. Um, huh. Did not expect that. Did not expect that. So, Goldberg is out. This is gonna be great. Very surprised not to see Poultry Guys. As I said, Poultry Guys most likely would have killed if it was a bad variant. Life Orb did plenty, though. So, that's a good combination. Umbreon comes in, though. We've seen Toxic. We've seen Fall Play. We've seen Wish, but we know his full extent is never to protect, which I'm going to abuse all of my power to. I really hope this Weather Ball does more than enough to get him in range for a KO. It's there for sure. It is absolutely there for sure. This goddamn Umbreon. I hate Umbreons. I hate him. Yeah, he switches out. I get that. Two Sawpits. Which could also be in range of getting KO'd by Politoed. Depending on the set. I can respect this play though. Yeah, this is a matchup Politoed will win in the long run. However, we have an Earthquake that's gonna do a whole lot. And Lambda is not necessarily on the best list there is. So, but sending off Basilibufu. There is just nothing I can do to break this. And uh, double edge. Yeah, that is. That is power. That is absolute power. Rain stops. And uh, I outspeed this. Is that going to get rain directly? Oh, he stays in. Great. Good. And he never killed. He never would have killed. God damn it. This is a bulky Sompit. Oh, it's a Solstice. That's why it took that so well. And it took it really well. Damn it, that was rough. Fine. I can respect that. Redraws. Charizard comes in. Um. Oh! Now I wish I could have... Oh! Is it life for maybe? That was a crit. How about that? Um, okay, I have two... Two ways of going about this. I either sack it and let Politoed wrap up the game. But that is granted that I am able to stop Swamp Bird from going from Max Air Stream and trying to really destroy me. Which, if so, I don't know if I can stop it. Actually. Yeah, sending him to Bufu. Basically, if he goes from Max Air Stream, I gotta hope our Molo is able to stomach it. Oh, I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch. I think this was the wrong play. Ooh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Or 
Fuck, maybe it is. Anyway, because yeah, I was speeding with disease, but I gotta go for max liquid or liquidation. That's my only play. Um, however, I don't believe my opponent is in the best shape to actually withstand the power effort from Armado or Armado. I think finally Armado is gonna show off its final brawn. It all depends on his last remaining options to actually attack me. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We're so in this. We are so in this. If it dynamaxed, I would still be able to outspeed, but if it went for max flare, I would have lost the speed. But as it went, if you had gone for max airstream and defeat him by that way, I would be able to outspeed. So it was a risk, but he actually stayed vigilant and never actually dynamaxed, which I definitely respect. I wonder what he's leveling with. Or if he kind of knows it could be over. Come on, disease 19. There I go. There I go. Nothing to it. Everything that comes in will tremble in fears. By the way, I just noticed it, but I really liked Armaldo's like battle animation just on his arm. That his individual scales is actually shifting. Did my opponent just gave up? I would think so. I would think so very much. If so, it's unfortunate. But I really much... It is a GG. Swampert comes in, dies to Armaldo. Umbra comes in, dies to Armaldo. It just it got it right. Um, so I can only assume my opponent gave up. And... Uh, yeah, it's not pretty. But this is actually my last Armaldo battle, and I really glad that Armaldo had a pretty okay showcase. I'll give you guys that. Like I didn't think it was gonna be supreme. I didn't think it's gonna outmaneuver anything. But it sure as hell kept a, a good fight. And uh, thank you, my opponent, for actually giving me the chance of wrapping up. I really mean that. Um, but yeah. Basically, uh, Armaldo has been good, and I think the best set to use it is um, is this set, Choice Bandit. Basically, give it all the power it could possibly need. Because setting up with Souls is very complicated, and a Soul Fest just doesn't give it enough punching power. And don't use Aqua Jet. All things considered, never use Aqua Jet. It got liquidations for a reason, it can chip down opponents naturally. And Armaldo has been an absolute champ because of that, because it's choice bandit damage output is so great. Armaldo's 25, 125 base power is very intimidating. So I just want to say that. Um, so this will actually end Armaldo week. I want to thank you everybody for voting and voting for you, me or using Armaldo. And I want to really tell you guys, I very much appreciate you taking the time and watching my content. So as always, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, as always, take care of one. Bye.